Good morning, everyone. I'm so glad you're here once again to learn more about our Savior Jesus and how much he loves us and all the things that he has done for us. You're probably wondering, why is Pastor Dunn holding a plant? Well, let me tell you about this plant. This plant uh, is a plant that I keep in my office, and I like the idea of having a plant in my office because it's green, I guess. Uh, and that's a nice thing to have something alive in my office. Um, but guess what? This plant has survived a lot. I leave, and sometimes I forget to water it, and it and it and it, and it might die if I if I don't water it. And but it's still alive, so I'm happy. The question that I have for you uh, has to do with our gospel lesson today. What would happen if I pulled one of these leaves out? What would happen to that leaf? It's not going to grow. If I planted that leaf, would it grow into a tree? No. Would it grow into a plant like this? No. Because the plant needs to be connected to the roots. The, plant, the leaves need to be connected to the roots to grow. And so even though I kill a bunch of leaves, um, as long as those roots are still going, it's still going to produce leaves. And, and that's important for this plant. And I have a leaf right here that died. This got pulled. And I j you know what I do with this? I just throw it into the trash. Um, because it's not worth anything. It doesn't look very nice. It's not useful to me. I don't do anything uh, with it. It's not, I have the plant to look nice. And uh, that doesn't look nice, so I get rid of it. Jesus tells us in the gospel about a vine that is in the garden of a gardener. And that vine has branches, and he says, we are the branches. And so I think in, for this plant, it's kind of like if we're the leaves, and if Jesus is the roots. What do I want out of this plant? I want it to look nice. What does God want the gardener? want out of the vine. He wants it to produce fruit. He wants what he wants out of the plant. And if he's not going to get it, he's going to cut it off and throw it into the fire. Just like this leaf that doesn't look nice. I'm throwing it into the fire. There are some truths that, that Jesus tells us that are so important for us today. One is, how do we stay nice and green? How do we produce fruit? by staying connected to the roots, by staying connected to Jesus the vine. So as a Christian, if we want to keep our faith strong and if we want to show our love, we can't do it unless we're connected to who? To Jesus. To Jesus and his word. He also tells us that that, that fruit, it's actually me producing it through you. And so if I planted this leaf in the garden on its own, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to turn green. It's just going to stay dead. Dead is dead. But the leaves connected to the roots, connected to Jesus, they stay nice and green. There are these truths that Jesus wants us to know that we should be connected to him, that he wants to create in us a desire to stay connected to him, just like these leaves that are connected to the roots look nice and green. He wants us to stay connected to him and to have that desire. He is the one who died for us. He is the one who forgives us from all of our sins. And he wants us to know that when we stay connected to him, we stay exactly as he wants us to be as a plant producing fruit or as a leaf staying green. So let's say thank you for what Jesus does for us by connecting us to him and by keeping us connected to him, we pray. You can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for sending us Jesus, who has connected us to you, and who keeps us connected to you. Amen. Thank you all so much for watching and for listening this uh, this message today. Hopefully my plant stays alive for a long time to come. If you ever visit me in my office, you'll get to see it and you can check on it. God bless you all. Have a wonderful week. Bye now.